What you guys got another video here for you now if you're a fan of Hiram's boot CD there has been an updated version released now this has not been updated by the official owner I think this has been updated by the fans that like Hiram's boot CD so let's take a look at the website and the page here so as you can see it's been added the they've added the Windows 10 PE x64 uh, PE version to it so we're going to take a look at it but first off in this one we're going to be taking a look at how you can create your own bootable uh, USB flash drive with Hiren's boot CD on it so first off you need to go to the downloads page here and there is links on here to show you how to USB boot in and also show you how to burn it and stuff like that so first we're going to come down to here and we're going to download the ISO you can see it here so I'm just going to hit the download on the file name here let that come down it's 1.3 gigabytes in size so that will take a bit of time so be patient and let that come down while that's downloading what I'm gonna do is download Rufus now Rufus is gonna allow us to create our bootable USB flash drive and all you need to do here is come down to the download section you can see there is a portable version available here so I'm gonna hit that and download the portable version so we do have our ISO image downloaded now and I'm going to click on open Rufus. You can see here, do you want to allow Rufus to check for updates? I'm going to just say no here. And there we have our Rufus. So what I'm going to do here is just quickly shrink this down and drag the ISO onto my desktop like so. And this will put the ISO on there. You can leave it in the download section. It's entirely up to you. I just want to get that onto the desktop. Okay. So moving back to the Rufus part here, you can see we are in Rufus 3.1.1320 portable. And I've got my USB flash drive. It's a 32 gigabyte USB flash drive. And uh, what I'm going to do here, you can see boot, section, uh, boot selection here. You can choose your boot selection. I'm going to leave this as ISO image. Also, we need to select, select. You can see it's gone to the download section here. So I'm just going to select that there. So it doesn't really matter. Click open here. So here you can uh, have it set to uh, GPT. You can see this method. Uh, you can see when you ho hover over here, you'll see this method will be used to create partitions. You can also change this to MBR if you want to. And this will obviously use BIOS or UEFI CSM uh, on here. Automatically that's selected there. So we've got our ISO, we've got our selected uh, ISO done there. We've got the label, which is what it's going to be called. You've got NTFS on here as well. And what we're going to do is leave that as is and then click on start. It will give you a warning that it's going to wipe the drive clean. So if you've got any data on that drive and you want to keep it, then now's the time to push cancel and get that data off. Otherwise it will be wiped. I'm going to click OK and it's going to start to create our drive for us. So let that go ahead and do its thing. It will take a bit of time. This software is pretty quick. Looks like he's just done a bit of an update on this software. And there we go, that is now being completed. We can now close this off and we can also uh, go into here and we can check it out. So you can see all the files are on the USB flash drive here, ready to go. And that's basically how you can create a brand new uh, bootable USB flash drive with Hiren's Boot CD updated version on there. And that's pretty much it. So if you want to uh, boot to this you're going to need to change your uh, boot order and to do that I'll show you that on the screen right now on how to change the boot order. Now to get into your BIOS you need to tap F1, F2, Escape, Delete or F12 and this will get you into your BIOS depending on what BIOS you're using. Then we need to hit settings and then boot. This will give us the boot options for that BIOS. You can see here boot mode selected legacy plus UEFI. If it's on UEFI, you may want to change this to legacy to make it easier to boot to 
uh, and that's a lot more easier to get to boot to a USB flash drive. So get that selected there. Option one, you can see USB hard disk. I've got this set to my sand disk. So I've changed the boot order to boot to my sand disk as its uh, first choice. Go into the advanced options here. This is a couple of extra steps that I like to take. You can see USB configuration. Click that and go into there. You can see I've got legacy USB support has been enabled for my flash drives. Click on save the configuration by tapping F10 and save. And then you can exit out here and reboot. Okay, that's pretty much it for this video. So I hope this one helps you out. If you want to see what the contents looks like for the uh, Hiram's Boot CD, let me know in the comments section below and I'll make that video for you and we can go through and show you some of the uh, features that Hiram's Boot CD has. And if you want to see some more Hiram's Boot CD stuff, then let me know also in the comments section on what you actually want to see and I'll do my best to make those videos for you. Anyway, have a great weekend. I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.